music is one of my favorite parts of the filmmaking process, and it was no exception for Chronicles of the Chronic Arts 3. It was a little more challenging, however, because for one thing, in Sam's comics, I had been able to get off using royalty-free music and finding a proper kind of flow to it through really kind of unconnecting music. But uh, Chronicles of Chronicler was a little harder because Sam's Comics, being in a modern setting, you could use modern kind of music and symphonic kind of music in a, a real harmonious way. It'd probably be the best way to put it. It was a bit harder to find good stuff for Lost World. But uh, like Sam's Comics, I used music from Incompetech.com, all composed by Kevin McLeod. And it was, it was kind of a struggle to find just the right balance. The thing I had the most trouble with, though, was a theme for the, for the theme for the music, because, again, I, this is a problem I still had with Sam's Comics, was that there was no real main themes throughout. There was just, like, a bit of music that you had to just keep using. If you wanted it to be a theme, you had to use the same exact piece over and over, which, to me, I don't like doing that, because it just sounds like you're copying, and it's almost like cheating. In my, in my world, it's like cheating. The Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire did that a lot. They used, recycled the same exact piece of music over and over and over and over again. Lost World, I had to do that a little bit more. The piece that I tried to use as the main theme was called Noble Race. I used it more as a theme for the Toa. There was another piece of music that I used multiple times, no matter, yeah, I had to cheat, but the track was called Ritual. I think it really helped uh, sell the uh, sense of history that I was trying to accomplish with the movie, because I really was trying to make it sound like this was a world that had existed for a long time. There were some kind of quote-unquote themes, other than the Toa theme and the history theme is what I called it. Uh, there was sort of a theme for Akmu, it was really only just used twice. And really, the music wasn't about themes. It was about carrying the emotion in this film. When it gets right down to it, that's the most important function of the music. It's not necessarily that you can hear a piece of music and associate it with a character or a thing. It's about the music that underlies and, te and really kind of guides what you're supposed to be feeling as you're watching the film. or it makes you feel uneasy when you want it to feel uneasy. So... 
like I said, music's one of my favorite parts. I never know how to end these stupid videos.